All right, so ignore the makeup because I was playing in lipstick today, so we're not gonna talk about that. But um, we are. I am getting ready to go ahead and do both bookshelves, and so I went to. I have gone and scoured the planet of TJ Maxx, Ross, and Burlington. Um, so some stuff is gonna be done away with some stuff is going to be added and then um hopefully i can finish the whole look by the end of well like this will be finished but like this whole section even like this bookshelf is getting redone this was not originally here but i got tired of seeing look over here i got tired of seeing that um so then i was like well i'm gonna have to do something about that too and i bought this dresser off of um facebook marketplace it's like 20 bucks and i'm gonna paint it and it needs sliders and it just needs it's a diy project which is why i purchased it but now that i got it i really wanted my original look was a longer flat one like one that was gonna go from like edge to edge of each bookshelf and then i was gonna paint it white and then kind of the same thing i did in my um sewing room video if so if you haven't watched the sewing room dressing dresser video sorry the sewing room dresser video um you know it'll be up so that you can go watch it but i want to do the kind of the same thing that i want different door pulls so i have different door pulls but the technique that i'm going to use kind of be the same but i really want a longer like flat dresser um this was a little too high for what i really want because my sister bought me um this for my birthday it's a record player because i've always wanted one and it was gonna go on the top of here like it, there was gonna be a whole thing anyway i'm like i'm babbling um or rambling on so that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna empty this off because per um my you know research it says to go ahead and clear everything off and then kind of start from scratch so that's what i want to do i have been playing around with it for um the better part of a month now to see what i like and what i don't like what's going to go what's going to stay a color palette sticking with a theme whatever the case may be and i think i have just about everything i need to go ahead and get started and finishing so what it seems like it's going to be a lot of um neutral tones so beiges golds uh whites and and bronze colors that's what it's looking like so that's what we're gonna do we've got a couple of grays in there not too many not too many grays just just like a couple of grays but that's what we're gonna do so the things i have purchased for the project are these right here so i got these a lot of this comes from ross and cj max um this is Marshalls or Ross or one of them. And then I got this right here for the blankets at the bottom. And then, of course, this, which is going to go on the dresser in the middle. I may or may not be finished. So I'll be able to see, like, what else needs to be added, if anything needs to be added when I'm finished. And then I'm kind of going to go from there. So we shall begin now. So as I said before, we're kind of started from scratch. That was kind of the, what was recommended to me through YouTube. So I went ahead and cleaned off everything and then wiped down the uh, bookshelves with some, with a damp cloth, just cause I haven't dusted in a while. Uh, some stuff that I got came from the thrift store, TJ Maxx, Ross. When you're doing this, I say go in for it. I bought a lot more stuff than I needed and then just took back what I didn't or just put it somewhere else in the house. Once the bookshelves are empty, you're kind of starting with like a fresh slate. So I went ahead and laid everything that I had purchased for this particular project, I guess, out on the floor. I kind of already knew what was going to stay, what was going to um, be the giving away or repurpose somewhere else. Uh, so it kind of made it easier. I do have some blankets and I didn't really have blankets before now, but we have some blankets that I wanted to go ahead and store away. So I bought a little storage for that. It is a bookshelf, so <laughs> you have to add some books, I guess. And I'm a reader, so to me it was no problem to add books. That wire uh, basket I got from, oh my gosh, so long ago I have no idea where it came from. But I use it for like my photo albums and family books and all of that good stuff. I kind of mixed and matched the books with 
metals, glass, ceramics. I wanted some greenery because I love greenery in the house. Those are faux plants because I don't have a green thumb and did not really want to go into doing it uh, off of my bookshelf. It's just some, some weird stuff. So, um, pictures, frames, and all that good stuff. I'm rambling again. <laughs> this is the first bookshelf look. And so now it's time for the second bookshelf. I purchased these off of Amazon specifically for this project. I needed some that were going to be cute. And I'm into owls. I love owls. So that's the reason why I chose these. My favorite author, Karen Rose, who is a romance thriller author. Her books go there. These were just a mix of textures and same kind of color palette but different textures i love them to death and then they're high low so it, it's very pleasing to the eye i guess um and then from there just a mix of pictures um uh, and textures really textures and color if you notice there are not too many colors i was trying to throw in like some um colors that had to do with my living room colors but it just didn't work so i decided not to even even bother i kept it with the neutrals whites and some grays and then yeah that's what i did one thing i will say that if you have young children which i don't like since they're seven now so there's no reason for me to do this but one thing i noticed is you have to be able to secure these bookshelves to the wall if you're going with this especially if you have young kids langston i don't need he's seven he knows not to pull on stuff but a younger child say a two or three year old with me not so go ahead and get that together this middle piece is going to be changing soon because, again, I'm going to DIY this dresser, so there's really no need to even explain it. But I still wanted it to look cohesive in this space, so I did something. Um, so this is kind of the final look on the second bookshelf and the middle con the middle piece. I did not get a picture of the other bookshelf, and I'm done filming now, so I wasn't going to do it. So you get a whole view of it all, <laughs> period. <laughs> So that is kind of the final look. Thank you guys for watching this week. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.